produce under the artist name Maddox. Uh, right now I am sitting in my temporary workspace slash studio, which is really just my office here at the school that I work at. And uh, what a mess. Thank you to Stephen from Amen Worldwide for having me produce a track for this project. Um, I'm super excited about it and I am uh, so thankful. Um, let's jump into the song. First, I recorded some light guitar stuff to transition from Saint's tune into mine. This song is in the key of E major, but the bass ends up walking down to a low C. During the guitar intro here, I got the crowd cheering background sound effect from sampling an old YouTube video of this band that I was a part of when I was in high school. Over here on electric guitar, we have Trevor Maddox. And uh, please, please, please don't go searching for those videos. <laughs> and next, through some weird chord modulation, we somehow take this guitar stuff out from E major. And into my own strange arrangement that's going on here. It starts out going back and forth between a G major 7 9 13 chord and a D minor 7 9 chord. I also wanted to change the time signature to something more interesting. Uh, it is in 516 time, and each snare hit happens every second measure. And by snare hit, I mean really annoying metronome clicking sound. I like the way that you can take a song in five and arrange some quantized rhythm into sounding more like it's swung 4-4. Four four. And with this idea, I also wanted it to have a bit of a mixed meter kind of feeling. And so I threw in some hi-hat patterns in 4-4 four four on top of the rest of this chaos. I also used some Google Tone Transfer magic to take a vocal line that I hummed into my phone and turn it into a saxophone and trumpet. Um, what a time to be alive. One final thing worth noting is this crazy synth that I made from a vocal sample that Steven actually had sent me. Um, he didn't end up using this vocal shot in his own project, and so I am like really glad that he sent it over to me to use. It was already a really good sounding, high quality sample. There was no low end rumble or anything. I didn't need to EQ or compress it at all. I literally just threw it into my sampler VST and started playing the Saint vocal shot on my MIDI piano. I originally wrote this song entirely on guitar, including that thrown in D minor 7 13 chord, but I felt that this synth stab instead was a better fit for that moment. Lastly, I sampled my own guitar intro and created a transition into the next track, which is actually being produced by my guy Wes Harris. Um, Wes Harris is a guy I really look up to, and so go check out his music if you haven't already. And thanks for watching this little track teardown. Peace. <laughs>